In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to absolutely bomb a deep half zone um, out of a cover three type of setup. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they can possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below it's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just lets you stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel okay guys so i wanted to break this down there was a, a, a patch that basically did, gave a buff to cover two zones and they helped out deep deep half zones a little bit okay and emphasis on a little bit so now a deep half zone is oftentimes very effective for slowing down things like cover three beaters out of the gun bunch. I'm gonna illustrate in this video. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the clear out of Seattle, my audibles out of the Seattle playbook. And then I'm gonna come out in the gun bunch verticals to break down these concepts for you. Now, if you've not gotten my uh, Seattle Seahawks offensive guide, it is basically a gun bunch offensive guide. And the way that it works is I based it out of Seattle because I think that clear out SE out is one of the most important plays to have in your arsenal against any real coverage and especially against adjusted cover threes or cover fours because that stock fade is really good this year at beating inside quarter zones and deep halves, which are two of the best adjustments in my opinion that people will do out of their cover three defense to take away the bomb. Okay, so if you want to get that full guide, it's in the description. But what we started to do is we started to add, um, we started to add bunch concepts that are really good bunch concepts from other playbooks. That way, you have the power to choose what bunch you want to run. Do you want to run Indianapolis? Do you want to run um, Seattle? Do you want to run um, Baltimore, Washington? We give you all of the concepts and then allow you to choose kind of what concepts you want to run. I personally recommend Seattle, and that's what I base the guide around. But we've also expanded into some other playbooks for you because I know a lot of you are looking for um, the best gun bunch and we're going to give you as best of resources as we can. So we're going to continue to update that guide over the course of the next couple weeks as the game gets launched out and patches happen and zones change a little bit, hopefully, um, because right now zones um, are they don't even like even when they play, even when you can't bomb them, they're still terrible. <laughs> so anyways, let's just talk about this cover um, this cover three invert bomb. So first things first, you see that I've set up a cover three and this is one of the best cover three beaters in the game right now. All you have to do is streak the circle receiver and what you're gonna see is 99% of the time you're gonna be able to get this over the top. If you can't get it to him, then you're gonna get your crosser over on the opposite side. So they actually did put out a little bit of an update that in essence what it did was it, it made it to where that safety didn't get glitched every time. He still gets glitched, he just doesn't get glitched every time. So if I run this enough, you see if I wait on it, there you see he goes to the left and circle, gets over the top for a one play score. So how are they gonna combat that defensively? Well, I wanna show you the first adjustment um, that people are gonna start using, especially when they figure out that this adjustment is back uh, from Madden 22 or 21 and that is they're going to put their corner on the right side into a deep half zone what you're going to see is that deep half zone is going to run straight up the vertical seams and he's actually going to take away both of these streaks with one zone coverage concept so really really good against deep halves okay um, another adjustment that you're going to see them do is they're going to inside quarter their inside guy which we'll, we'll talk about that in another video but in this in this coverage, this play will still bomb that. They may go to a cover four drop, which will show you those two concepts in this video. So anyways, first concept I wanna show is that cover three. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna audible over to the clear out SE out. And when we audible, what you're gonna see is the cornerback should move. You see how I move to the inside, just a little movement. That's kind of your cue that they put him in a deep half. For whatever reason, deep half zones, whenever you audible, they kind of move a little bit. Anyway, all we're gonna do is streak the R1. I like to put the running back on some type of check down route, whether it be an in route, an option route, a ghost route, doesn't really matter. It's whatever you wanna do. I also really like the block and release curl um, that you can get from a hot route master setup. So anyways, I want you to watch the circle receiver. 
what you're going to see is the circle receiver is going to fade to the outside of the field and typically he's going to get over the top that time i got jammed so it kind of messed up my release so let me show you that one more time um one of the fine things about practice mode is that for whatever reason they they really play the receivers a little bit a little bit weird so i'm just going to move this guy so that these receivers don't get like they don't get jammed um obviously if they're getting jammed there's so many other things that we can do so i don't want to spend too much time on this i want to kind of show what the meta is going to be and what you're going to face and that's going to be this deep half adjustment so clear out se out streak the r1 you see he moves to the right just a smidge and what you'll see is right off the snap if i just pass lead this to the right he's going to get a step on him and absolutely burn that coverage so as long as circle doesn't get like like what happened last time where they pressed the r1 and then circle got off of his route for whatever reason as long as that doesn't happen, uh, you should be good with this. So I'm gonna put the zones back out there again just to show this to you. And again, I wanna put that deep half adjustment onto the circle uh, the circle corner. And what you should see is the circle receiver. See how he gets over the top? Now he got jammed right there. If he does get jammed, if you wait on it long enough, you can actually get this, it's really tender, but you can sometimes get this to the right. You just, if, he just can't get jammed. If he gets jammed, it does mess up the play. Um, it definitely does mess up the play. So I'm gonna put a hard flat out here and then I'm gonna put this guy into a spy and hopefully they won't jam me too badly. Um, obviously in a regular game, most people, whenever they defend gun bunch, they're gonna be using zone drops because you can't stop the corner routes unless you use zone drops. So it's unlikely that you're gonna get pressed. And here you see, got a free release. And of course I forgot to put the deep half out there. Let me show you that one more time. And we'll put that deep half out there and then we'll show you how to deal with how to deal with cover four drop from the same from the same uh the same basic format uh, of this play so again just kind of drop these guys out in the coverage and then i'm going to put that deep half onto the circle player clear out streak r1 and here you're going to see it and you got, dang on, you got pressed again well, if he gets pressed, just check it down to the tight end or the running back. They're going to both be open as well. Um, that tight end route is really, really underrated this year. Uh, not very many people are using that, but it's really, really good. Let me show you this again. I don't know why the slot is pressing me in a hard flat. So I'm just going to spy him because I just want to try to get him out of the way so I can show you the route. But again, clear out. You see that little movement. He'd still press, but he didn't press circle. So you just wait. You see how he gets a step on him? And you just pass through that to the right, and you're going to beat it for a one-play score. Okay? The deep half will basically go take the seam streak to R1, and it'll allow uh, Brown to get over the top. Okay? So that's cover two invert. Okay? The other thing that you're going to be able to do is cover four drop. So another popular coverage is going to be this cover four drop, and they're going to basically just kind of pinch these guys in to help with the seam streaks. This is my personal favorite way to play defense this year is to use cover four and use those inside quarters as much as possible because they do such a good job on interior streaks and post routes. But what you're gonna see is that same exact adjustment. You're gonna see the circle receiver, that right corner will completely dumb out on this play. It's the only play that I have found. Um, this one is very specific. It's the only play that I've been able to find from Gun Bunch that is able to consistently beat cover four drop to the bunch side. And so if you're, you know, if you're looking for a playbook, this is part of why we wrote the Seattle playbook guide, because this clear out play is always one of the best plays in the game. It's no different this year. It's not as good against cover three, but we have so many other resources that can beat cover three. However, this is the best play in the game for burning the cover four drop for a one play score. So if you want to get access to the Seattle Seahawks guide, remember we're updating it week by week. We're adding new concepts that are not in Seattle, but are in other playbooks as well. But we start with Seattle as the foundation and we start with the gun bunch and then we grow from there. So if you want to learn the best uh, material on gun bunch, the most comprehensive gun bunch guide I think ever written because we're going into all these playbooks and all these setups and really studying film on what the best players are doing. I would encourage you to get that gun bunch guide. It's in the description. You can get that for just 15 bucks. So far, it's been incredible. It's been a very effective and efficient offense, and it's really helped me uh, put up 50 plus points pretty much every single game. I put up 48 points and a half 
uh, yesterday. And I've been starting to go for two every single time because this offense is that lethal no matter where you're at on the field. But this is how to bomb the cover uh, three invert and the cover four drop out of the gun bunch. You can do it all the exact same play and the exact same setup. Thanks for watching the video. And if you wanna get that gun bunch guide, it's, there's a link in the description. You just click on that link and you can get that guide for just 15 bucks.